Senator Anning. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, first, I'd like to acknowledge the uh, brave servicemen and women in the gallery and uh, thank them for their service. Yeah. <coughs> My question is to the Minister representing the Minister for, uh, of Defence, Senator Payne. During the, Mala the Malaysian counterinsurgency war 1968-1989, an Australian infantry rifle company was deployed on rotation to protect RWF assets at Air Base Butterworth from attack by communist insurgents. The Australian Defence Committee's secret minute of 11 January 1973 stated that this deployment could be publicly portrayed as for training purposes. Subsequent military directives confirm this deception. By virtue of this deception of classifying warlike service as peacetime service, the troops, some 9,000 in all, were denied their eligible entitlements under Veterans Entitlement Act. Why have successive governments continued to perpetuate the deception surrounding service at Air Base Butterworth for this period, when evidence provided to government advisers meets all the criteria for warlike service? The Minister representing the Minister for Defence, Senator Payne. Thank you very much, Mr President, and uh, I thank Senator Anning for his question and uh, also acknowledge those members of the ADF parliamentary program who uh, join us here in the gallery this afternoon. Uh, Mr President, I don't necessarily accept all of Senator Anning's characterisation uh, uh, during his question, but uh, I can say on advice uh, from the Minister for Veterans Affairs uh, that submissions seeking a review of a nature of service classification for past service are considered in the context of the legislation and policies that applied at the time of the service. The applicable legislation for the period of Rifle Company Butterworth service in question is the Repatriation Special Overseas Service Act 1962 and the Veterans Entitlements Act 1986. Service is considered to be war-like service if certain conditions described in the applicable legislation are met. The matter of Australian Defence Force service in Malaysia, including Rifle Company Butterworth service, has indeed been considered by several independent reviews. Those reviews include the 1993 Committee of Inquiry into Defence Awards, the 2000 Review of Service Entitlement Anomalies in Respect of Southeast Asian Service 1955-75, the 2003 Review of Veterans Entitlements, the 2011 Defence Honours and Awards Appeal Tribunal Inquiry into Recognition for Members of Rifle Company Butterworth for Service in Malaysia between 1970 and 1989, and the New Zealand Government, the Medallic Recognition Joint Working Group on Service in Southeast Asia 1950-2011, published in 2013. Each of those reviews, Mr President, has consistently found that Rifle Company Butterworth service, as described by Senator Anning and as I have referred to in my earlier remarks, does not qualify as warlike service under the applicable legislation. Senator Anning, a supplementary question. Yeah, thank you, Mr President. Why have successive governments refused to meet uh, the representatives of Rifle Company Butterworth Review Group and hear their claims? Senator Payne. Uh, Mr President, uh, thank you, and I thank Senator Anning for his uh, supplementary question. I'm advised that, uh, in fact, uh, our government has met with representatives on a number of occasions to hear their claims. Uh, and as I noted further in my previous response, a number of reviews have consistently found that the rifle Butter company Butterworth service in question uh, has not qualified as warlike service under the applicable legislation. Senator Anning, a final supplementary question. Uh, when does the government intend to establish an independent judicial inquiry into this matter, and if not, why? Senator Payne. Uh, thank you, Mr President. There aren't plans at this point in time to establish an independent judicial inquiry into this matter. The service of ADF members who served at Butterworth during the period 1970 to 1989 has been and will always be valued by defence and by our government. The service is recognised by the award of the Australian Service Medal, 1945 to 1975, with CLASP Southeast Asia, or the Australian Service Medal with CLASP Southeast Asia, depending on the period of service. Mr President, in June of this year, and I remember advising the Chamber at the time, I attended the 60th anniversary of Australia's presence at the Royal Malaysian Air Force Base at Butterworth. Generations of ADF members have lived and worked at Butterworth, including my own partner's parents with their two young sons at the time. A formidable group of former ADF personnel and their families attended those celebrations, marking the very special place that Butterworth holds in the hearts and minds of many Australians. And I was proud to attend on behalf of the Australian government. I acknowledge Senator Anning's interest Order. in this matter. Senator Keneally.